All new at 6, what will a college education look like in September? Students want to know if they'll be back on campus or taking more classes online. But for many high school seniors, it's none of the above. Here's WBZ's Chris McKinnon. When Charlotte Bradley puts on this UCLA sweatshirt, it's no longer just a pipe dream. It was her reach school, and she got in. I had to read the letter about 14 times, and I started screaming and jumping up and down. But her excitement soon faded when she realized that she may not be on the Southern California campus when school starts in the fall. I think it's so important for me to be on campus, be in extracurriculars, be in my classes with my professors and be with people in residential halls. That is just so important for me for freshman year experience. Charlotte is one of a growing number of high school seniors taking a gap year. Experts say schools with large endowments like UCLA and Dartmouth College are doing their best to allow students to delay enrollment for a year. But for some smaller liberal arts schools, it'll be a different story. They are tuition dependent and they need to get people in the door to pay their bills. According to college consultant Kathy Costa, these gap year decisions have ripple effects. Some kids are getting off the waiting list for their top choice schools. Good news for this year's class, but could be a problem next year. Eliminates a lot of the spots for the current juniors. There's another wild card this year, a new rule that allows colleges to sweeten the pot even after a student has committed to another school. This is going to be like the Wild West. Kids are going to be getting offers for more money from other schools. Charlotte knows the virus will make it challenging to find a job or internship during her gap year, but she's convinced it's the right decision. This definitely won't be a normal gap year because the world is not itself right now. According to Costa, colleges are weighing 15 different possible scenarios for the fall. If it looks like another semester of online learning, many are promising to improve what those classes will look like. Chris McKinnon, WBZ News.